Good morning, friends. It is Friday, August the 5th at 10 a.m. on the dot. Um, I had planned on getting up earlier, and if I did, I was going to go get my nails done. But it's Friday. They open at 9.30, so by the time I got there by 10.30, they would be stupid busy. And I actually don't mind going like on a Monday or a Tuesday. Just so, <laughs> just so I don't have to deal with the crazy. Because I like that experience to be relaxing. I did scratch my face and I really did a number on my belly earlier. I didn't even realize it until I looked down. I was like, where did that scratch come from? Lint. So yeah, anyway. um, Rob's like, do you want me to shut the door? Wait, did I tell you guys that? I don't even know. <laughs> I woke up at 7.30 originally. Because Roxy was meowing, trying to find me. She's not a very good detective. <laughs> She's not very good at all. So I was laying in bed just hollering at her. Like, or, you know, calling back to her. It's like, Roxy, come on. And so Rob comes in. He's like, it's, he's like, do you want me to shut the door so she'll leave you alone? And I was like, well, what time is it? And he said 7.30. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I wanted at least 30 more minutes of sleep. And I ended up getting two more hours of sleep. So I got up at 9.30, took a shower. It's now 10. I really want a Diet Dr. Pepper or a Diet Pepsi. <laughs> but I know, well, in the past, Diet Dr. Pepper has flipped up my blood sugar because it has that Ace K. It's Ace K and... Um, well, anything really. When Ace K acetamine, acetophen, potassium, I, isoful, I don't know. Just look up Ace K, A C A C E K. Um, it is a slow, low carb sweetener, but when it's with anything, <laughs> sucralose, um, I almost said acetaminophen, aspartame, it only doesn't matter. When it's with another sweetener, it just makes my blood sugar go sky high. So I try to stay away from it as much as I can. And it's 100% in diet. Dr. Pepper, I, you know, I had a Diet Dr. Thunder last week and I didn't look to see if it's one of the ingredients. If you didn't know, Diet Dr. Thunder is Walmart's, Walmart's version of diet. Dr. Pepper, and it's actually a little bit better. It actually reminds me of Dr. Miss, not Dr. Pib, Mr. Pib, which I used to love. And they used to make a Pib Extra that was like their low, like their sugar-free version, but I mean, it's basically impossible to find. And I don't mind Diet Dr. Thunder. I try not to drink soda a whole, whole bunch, especially like caffeinated soda, but sometimes I just want soda um i normally have so i had found the fan or rob had found the fanta orange fanta zero orange i don't remember and then right when the pandemic started they stopped making it and we haven't seen it again so we think that they maybe just stopped making it so if you have a i think it's tom thumb safeway randall's it's the signature select brand that diet orange soda is delicious <laughs> it's so good and unfortunately they don't really stock a lot of it here but if you go to the service desk you can get your manager you should be able to get your manager to buy you like to order more like we order normally about a dozen cases at a time it gives me about I don't know, six eight months worth of soda sometimes longer because sometimes I, I don't like I'm not in the mood for want the taste of orange and yeah so yeah and then I had just I had two diet black cherry polar sodas <laughs> left over from our trip from to Massachusetts last year and oh, I'm almost done and they don't taste the same because it's been over a year if you're someone who lives in New England not seltzer soda diet black cherry polar i think they call it what do they call it some kind of drink refreshing drink or something like that it's so flipping good and i we don't get polar down here i think there's some places that like liquor stores that sell seltzer 
And I keep meaning to call them to see if they can order more from Polar's catalog or if they're just limited to, um, limited to seltzer because Rob loves, loves the birch beer from Polar. And I love, I love the Diet Black Cherry. I like the Diet Grape. I really like the Diet Root Beer. Like the Polar sodas are really, really good. And I miss that and lobster <laughs> from, from Massachusetts. I had lobster every day. The best was from the sole proprietor. Don't ask me where that is. It's by a college. That's all I know. But hell, there's 5 million colleges in Massachusetts, I think. S-O-L-E, proprietor. Oh, we eat that. We've eaten there. We've been there three times. We've been to New England three times, and we've eaten there all three times. And this last time I had lobster mac and cheese and lobster and crab pie. Jesus, man. It's not a little good, but it's your name. <laughs> It sure was good. The lobster mac and cheese was the literal best I'd ever had. It was so good. It had huge chunks of claw meat. Oh my God, it was so good. And I was expecting little portions. So I ordered it because you get two sides. I was like, I just want, I'll just take two sides of that. And it showed up and I was like, holy crap. So I ended up, <laughs> ended up eating one and just picking the meat out of the other. These are the LA Girl lip oils. They're so good. Have I told you that already? I don't know. So last night had the Macanadia Nuts and Smoked Gouda. That's the first time I've had those two together. That was good. Now it's really, it, it's really, really fatty though. I mean, because Macanadia Nuts are fatty. Cheese is fatty. Um, so I still prefer it with the Cheddar Moon Cheese, but I did enjoy it. <laughs> I did enjoy it with the um smoke gouda so yesterday i was like we haven't had any snacks this week like we've been really good and rob's like well what do you want i was like i want um cheese and sausage and um nuts <laughs> like at least i wasn't craving like cookies and those kinds of things so he bought like a roll of summer sauce or summer so yeah summer sausage that small block of gouda smoked gouda and then some macadamia nuts so I think this weekend I'll have him get like some applewood smoked cheddar. That's really good. Um, Havar, I like um, manchego. I like Havar. Like I just like cheese. Unless it's blue cheese or gorgonzola or feta or bleh. goat cheese. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, so that was actually pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm going to have that probably for lunch. I'm not hungry right now, and I'm trying to decide if I want a soda or if I want a coffee. Blood sugar was 198, and I can see it, and if I can remember, I'll try to take a screenshot of the um, graph, but it looked like it stayed fairly stable overnight. I mean, it was 194 when I, it was like 1030. But I mean, there was a little bit of ripple to it, but you could tell that around 6.30, 7 o'clock is when it started going back up, which makes sense, I guess. But yeah, it's also, um, I think a lot of it had to do with my lower back, not my lower back, my, my middle back. So you guys know I have uh, this OPLL, which causes the spinal cord to be compressed, but it also causes basically all of the nerves in my all three levels of my spine to be compressed pinched whatever and the one the one i'm dealing with right now is in my rib cage so it's in my thoracic spine and it's just it's caught just enough that anytime i take a breath it it hurts to take a breath and it's like so Rob put a lot of game patch on it. So I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping that helps it because it is uncomfortable. And I really started noticing it when I woke up. So hopefully, hopefully that goes away. And it just, I don't know. It's just me shifting. I'll shift in the right direction and it'll slip out from that disc or whatever. And however it gets pinched and I will be fine for, I don't know, two, three months. That one doesn't bother me near as often as the neck and the lower back one does. Knock on wood, right? <laughs> so yeah, I feel energized today. Um, number one, because of the blood sugar, but I also think because I've been a week without carbs and that's kind of what 
one of the great benefits of keto carnivore is that you're not in the same like you're not carbs make you tired and for me carbs cause a lot of inflammation i'm still pretty swollen but i'm guessing that's just their way of making their way out um not necessarily swollen but like tight i don't know how else to describe it but yeah i'm definitely my right hand is the one that's normally pretty swollen and it's actually not too bad i had gotten down to like a six and a half ring size which is crazy um but i um i stopped wearing it i just bought some of those silicone bands because i'm not going to get a new wedding band until i get to whatever size i'm going to end up and yeah so that is that is the plan for today. This was the worst Care Bear shirt Tord ever did. I mean, this color is just awful. <laughs> I hate it. That's why it's a way around the house shirt now. So anyway, per usual, I'll show you the um, what I eat today and the blood sugar. I did weigh yesterday, <laughs> but I'm not going to officially weigh in until Monday. But hopefully things continue to go in this direction. It'll be pretty decent weigh in. Again, not my number one, not my number one concern, but I would like to have 50, I would like to be under 300 by the end of the year. That would be really, really nice. And I'm not quite as far away as I was and that's always good. So yeah. And just like I said earlier in the week, like I don't know what happened, but I'm like, okay, we're ready. Let's do it. And I just, I, it took eight months, but I'm finally in the right state of mind to do something like this. So could I go ahead and do an elimination diet? Possibly, but we'll see what happens with the keto um, when I go and have my next um, inflammation blood work done. And if that's helped, then I'll just, you know, stay this way. I, um, again, I'm doing both basically like lazy keto. So this is not a how-to keto. <laughs> it's not at all. Um, I'm just, I don't want to, I don't want to count macros. Like I don't want to, it makes me, I get too fixated on it. So I feel like I'm doing a good job intuitively eating. I'm only eating when I'm hungry. As you notice, some days that's one time a day. Sometimes that's three times a day. I think yesterday was a three, four, maybe I ate four times yesterday, but it was a bunch of little things, but yeah. So anyway, I am rambling. It's been 12 minutes. <laughs> shut up and go figure out if I want a soda or a coffee and I'll talk to you guys some more later. <laughs> I look a little nuts when I take off my glasses after when I have makeup on. I don't set my face especially if I'm not going anywhere and I'm not gonna film like film a video. I just threw on makeup today to throw on makeup. Just I don't care for it but it is what it is. So it is almost 3 p.m. I still haven't edited today's video <laughs> or yesterday's video. I need to get on top of that. Um, it is, did I say it's almost three? It's like 2.55. Um, I still have not eaten today. I am finally hungry. Uh, oh, I, I think I mentioned last night that I had Rob buy some like smoked sausage and some Gouda and some macadamia nuts. I'm gonna cut up a little bit of that and have that for right now. Um, I am making Rob a steak and we have some frozen scallops. So I am going to defrost the scallops and see about having some of those for me. I may try a little bite of his steak. He had a pretty big sirloin one. So we'll see how that goes. Um, as I mentioned, I just can't eat ribeye anymore. I love the fat, like give me all the ribeye fat, but as far as eating the actual steak, I just can't do it. So that's a bummer. And I haven't had scallops since being on this medication. So I'm going to see how I do with that. I'm going to cook up some of that zucchini squash that I haven't messed with all week and um, have those two together later, probably about 5 6 o'clock. So I'm going to eat just a little bit now and I'll show you that when I make my plate, but I wanted to sit down under the lights. I can't really talk when I'm in the kitchen because Robin's still working. He works until five at the kitchen table. So yeah, that's, that's what's happened in my life. I have been editing other videos this morning. I need to edit or today I need to edit, um, yesterday's vlog and get it scheduled. So I'm going to do that right now. And then I'll eat my little snack and then we will, um, 
I'll show you dinner. And again, my blood sugars, I think it's 201. So not much higher than it was when I woke up. I did have a coffee. Um, I didn't go get a soda. I may put that on the list for Rob to pick me up. He hasn't decided if he's going grocery shopping today or tomorrow. He still does the grocery shopping, especially since COVID is still so rampant here in Dallas. Um, it's You would think that there was nothing going on the way people act, but it's still sky high here. And I've been had my first booster. I'm going I have to go two weeks before my next infusion to have my second booster. Second booster? Yeah. So I'll do that next month at some point. But um, yeah. So he's still doing all the grocery shopping. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let me let me edit my video. Let me show you what I'm gonna eat real quick. And then um, I'll show you dinner later. All right guys, seven, here's dinner. A couple of pieces of fat off of Rob's steak and some scallops cooked in steak fat. Not hungry enough to make a vegetable. So this is gonna be it for dinner. My blood sugar is 191. I think I'll pop it up as I have been doing. So anyway, dinner on Friday. I didn't like this gallows. <laughs> More for you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.